Okay, let's add a second day and see if we can get some outliers. Cashier, one, voids. I think I have some data that we can use here. Uh, 1.13. And we will just bump this down like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more times. Sure. <clears throat> we'll go to cashier. Tuesday for cashier two. And for Tuesday, I'm going to say 6.25. 3 3.63. 1.89, 15, <clears throat> 15.21, 7.21, that will be enough for now, I believe. We'll say this will be cashier 3, 4, 5. Let's save that to see what we get. We get something really crazy going on here. For one, our Tuesday is not over here. Let's go look at why that is. I believe that. It's probably going to be in here somewhere. I think that's supposed to be a plus one for one thing to give that a different day right Tuesday yep let's try to refresh this real quick Okay, we got, we have a lot more ticks here because we had more numbers that we can fix, but I'm wondering why we don't have this right here. Let me log this out. Oh, I spelt this wrong. Copy. Go, if you do control D, 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 you just paste in the right name. And there's our Tuesday. So we have an outlier. But what we should have, look, our on press is not working properly, is it? Oh, she's not updating our console. Because there they all are. There we go. Where's our outliers? 15.21. So this one should have been way up here. But instead, it came down to here. So let's go look at that. Let's come over here and look at our outliers. <clears throat> All right, it's our Y that's wrong. Oh, there's a zero in there. That should be O. That's why it's on the bottom. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> now, one thing I don't like is that we have increased all these ticks. And we could actually go over here. Let's give this a fill. And 
parameter x axis ticks. Outlier, give it a fill. And we'll pull this out of here. Get a little bit more redness in there. Just has that weird opacity, so it looks a little strange. But it is configurable. That's fine. And our max equals the same thing, so we're okay with not having that bar up here. That's just because of our data. Um, but I don't like these. So I think what we're going to do about that, we're still good on time here. We're going to add a configuration up here. For skip y axis labels. And let's give it like two. And in our render y axis ticks, when we map over this, we will say if. index modulus skip y axis labels equals zero then we do all of this and we'll do the same thing for the labels If index modulus skip y axis labels equals zero, and we'll do all of this. Let's see if that cleans us up a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right. The next video, what I'm thinking is. We have our outliers, but that's not a really good indication. What about if one cashier had a lot more occurrences of these voids than all the other cashiers? We would have almost have like an inner outliers, like a quantity outliers inside of here. And if we passed in a predicate function of the user's choice, they could make it do whatever they want on the data inside of here, which would be all of this data our cashiers and they could determine what would constitute an outlier and if there are any we could change the color based on the user's configuration to be a different color that says hey you might have you know you have outliers but even inside of here you have outliers so this is going to be totally off the cuff we're going to give this a shot though